Doctors say there's no new evidence that a fetus in the womb can feel pain before 24 weeks. The latest findings from the Royal College of Obstetricians and Gynaecologists shows early stage fetuses are undeveloped and sedated. Anti-abortion groups say the report still doesn't justify terminating a human life. Our health correspondent, Branwyn Jeffries, has been studying the latest findings. Well, for most women, this is how they get their first glimpse of pregnancy. Some will face difficult decisions about whether to go through to birth and the delivery of their child. Today's report looks at the latest science, but it also touches on some of the most controversial issues in recent debates around abortion. A glimpse of the nine-month journey from conception to birth. These computer images show a fetus at 20 weeks, moving and constantly developing. But doctors say it's important not to confuse reflex movements with the ability to experience pain. So it's a bit like when you um, prick your finger or stand on a nail, you immediately move your hand or your foot away from that. And that's something that's separate from the signal that then goes to your brain to say, ow, that hurts, I shouldn't be doing that. And you can have one without the other. The science of when a foetus can feel pain in the womb has been a controversial issue. At seven weeks, a pregnancy is barely visible. By 12 to 13 weeks, most women receive their first scan and 90% of abortions are carried out by this time. 24 weeks is the legal time limit for abortion for most of the UK, except Northern Ireland, where it's only allowed in very restricted circumstances. So that's why today's report is significant. It says in order to feel pain, a foetus needs connections from receptors in the skin, via nerves to the spinal cord, and finally to the cortex, a highly developed part of the brain which can interpret pain signals. At 24 weeks, there are still gaps in these crucial connections. It's an issue that stirred up passionate debate two years ago. Parliament decided against lowering the 24-week limit on abortion. Christian doctors argued then and now that the science is more complex than it appears. Abortion is an extremely complex, multifaceted and very sensitive subject. And the morality of taking the life of a fetus or an unborn baby uh, can't be totally determined by the question of whether the, the fetus can feel or not. Science doesn't exist in a vacuum, and that's particularly true when it comes to understanding how a small bundle of cells becomes a human baby. So these reports will inevitably be used in the ongoing moral and ethical debates about when and whether abortion should be permitted. There remains a steady consensus around the legality of abortion in Parliament, and however much further science takes our understanding, it's unlikely that will move either those who support or oppose abortion any closer together. Brownwyn Jeffries, BBC News.